on to our next victim in this little experimental series. And that would be looking at camera settings. Logitech's Brio. This is their 4K fixed focus webcam, which is my primary webcam for the longest time now, about a year, year and a half. Um, it's got a variety of different settings, different uh, field of view uh, defaults for use when it's being a standard webcam. HDR capability, which improves its uh, color and brightness rendition. Oh, and there goes my test. Hang on, we'll put that back up. We need something other than white. test card back in place. Okay, we have confirmed that this is in fact Brio. What makes Brio novel is that it's a USB 3 webcam and it's a 4K capable webcam. These uh, relate to how applications configure it. Uh, so launching scan converter, come over here and say hello Mr. Scan Converter, let's pick the Logitech Brio as our source. And now we launch Studio Monitor to be able to see the stream that it is creating. Give it a moment. Uh, it has to go out on the network and see the NDI streams that are available. There we go. Logitech Brio. And lo and behold, Brio is giving us 640 by 480 at 30p. Mm. So let's right click. You can see a variety of resolutions are offered, more than we've previously seen because this is a 4K capable webcam. But even in order to get 4K over a USB 3 link, you do have to use a um, slightly different form of either compression or encoding. So um, we know, for example, that it can do 3840 by 2160 by 30. That's basically a consumer ultra HD. You can also do a 4096 by 2160, which is sometimes called a DCI. It's a digital cinema 4K for production purposes. Now, we'll try it. And we get a refocus and 640 by 480 by 30. And we'll do like we did before. We'll just walk down the settings and see what we get. 640 by 480, okay. 2560 by 720, or QHD. It's four times the resolution of 1280 by 720. 1920 by 1080. Well, hey, look at that. It actually gives us 1080p at a proper 30 frames per second. That's nice. Uh, 1600 by 986, sure, 30 frames per second. That's working properly. 1280 by 720 by 30. Yep, no problem there. Uh, 800 by 600 by 30. Yeah, that's not a problem. It's actually correctly changing for each of these. And 60 by 540, so that's um, one quarter full HD. Oops. 640 by 480, we'll skip. 848 by 480, yeah, no problem. So we have every reason to believe that as we go down into these older, lower resolutions, 840 by 448 by 30, that all is good. So Brio and Scan Converter together can de deliver 1080p 30 where they falter is getting beyond that to resolutions that require something other than uh, a basic YUI2 encoding over the wire. Okay, well that's marginally successful if not delivering what the best the camera can do. So we'll reset and we'll try another camera.